What's going on everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to some more Let's Play Starfix Adventures. In the last episode we saved everything that was worth saving in this, which was a perfumed head and a scarab. And obviously we do need to save these prisoners. Cause, you know, cause I definitely didn't overkill like how much I said these guys were useless. Let's try and f no, okay, there's no way. Let's see what happens if we follow him. But no, he flies way too fast. He's a fast little bugger. To find the spell oh my god, stone, he talks. You must first activate the wind lifts. This is the key to the power is, chamber. Is he floating? Power supply Holy to crap. The whole city is down. These wind lifts will only work if you restart the generator. Or maybe he was being like, you know, it's kangaroos and like Bugs Bunny and all that with like to stand on their tails and then like kick people. Maybe that's what he was doing. He was standing on his head. What? Oh, there he is. And if you follow him, he, oh, he's like, he's always like the very, like, he's like a teenager, you know, when they're like all disobedient and like put their arms together. That's what he is. That's definitely what he's like, hmm, I hate everything! Huh! <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you wait for him, he actually walks up to this closed door. So let's open it for him and let him walk the dinosaur. Actually, what does this do? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I have to wait for him to get here, don't I? Walk your ass over here! Walk your way out, God! I... There's no time to waste. You Get hurry! Out of here. <sighs> Which, speaking about kangaroos, interesting thing I heard a little while. Actually, I heard this a long time. Was kangaroos could only jump when their tails on the ground. To kick their tail off the ground, they're freaking useless. They can't do anything. Well, I would not suggest lifting a kangaroo's foot off the ground because that would be very scary to the kangaroo, and he'd probably get kicked in the face. Oh, so we did not need to wait for him at all, did we? No. But with his little scrawny ass arms, he can't climb up here. Open that door with your scrawny ass arms. Eh. It's funny how quotable Nintendo Kirby son is. Like even without him trying, he's always so freaking quotable. And I've always wondered, like, how how do you work this crazy magic? He's like the grandfather of all catchphrases. <laughs> okay, let's climb up here. Um, you can very strategically try to avoid these, but with your million health units, I really don't see the point of it. I mean, you take half the heart of damage or half a Star Fox symbol of damage. It's like. Look at that, and you could just, with the amount of healing boxes there are around here, is there really a point? Probably not. Like, look at this. We ended up to full health, and we did not even try to avoid any of those guys. And look at that. Beautiful. Okay, and where are we? We're actually at the very same courtyard that, um, we saw General Scales torturing the Queen Earth, or, uh, Cloud Runner, not Earthwalker. Blue Crystal, ooh, yummy. Alright, you shock me. Oh my goodness gracious, that is shocking. Uh, first off, could try to sneak around here if you want. I don't really see the points. Do we have? Oh yes. It's like, do we have the ice thing? But yes, we do. So we're actually going to want to be doing a few things. And see, all these switches are turned off. How do you turn them on, you may be asking. Well, just follow me along on this amazing ep and epic journey, and you shall figure it out one day. Maybe. If we are lucky, we're just through this door. Anything? Another lift. I need you. I'm feeling kind of down right now. Can you give me a lift? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, um, I have to swim through the water to get around this point. Looks like it's more of these guys. It's like I feel like these are really out of place in this game. It's like what are these? They are pretty much invincible, though. You can attack them with your fire blaster. They make this weird sound like, huh? What's going on? Yeah, it like stuns them for a little while, and then they just turn back on and they go ahead. So there's really no way to fight them. They're just they're pretty much the invincible enemy of the game. All general scales would have to do is just command a whole bunch of them on me like you're dead, and then just stab me in the face with this little claw hook thing. But no, he does not do that. Actually, there's nothing up there yet, so we're not gonna go that way. Actually, no. Because there's something up here. I do remember that is very freaking important. And that you're gonna want to actually come up here first. Firstly, turn these fires off. So if you don't, you will be screwed. And what's coming up in a moment here? So you see, there's a gate here with a little chest in there, a little chesticle. It's like, oh, actually, I like how these these gates are all rusted when like this entire place. It seems pretty well kept. Besides, like the obvious destruction general scales like had here. Before that, I guarantee this place looked pretty good, right? Except those gates. All those gates are rusted, and who even understands why? It's like, this isn't some ancient ruins. This is a generally well-kept thing. Place. Palace thing. So we come up here, and you see these very interesting plates. And if you press one of them... Oh! It opens some of these rusted gates. There's actually three of these around. Don't try to jump off, because you can't, by the way. 
There's three switches that you can hit, and, but um, these switches are all on a time. Oh, really? I have to go around the long way. All these switches are actually on a timer, so you're not going to want to hit them all at once, since, but you won't be able to go and get them all. Oh, God. There we go. Alright, if I would maybe stop dying anytime soon, I might be able to do this. Maybe. Perhaps. Indeedly. So we're going to climb the ladder. We're going to climb the ladder to success. Success lies at the top of this ladder. No! Damn you, bad internal compass! If you have a generally good sense of direction, unlike me, you could have probably done this on your first try. However, I do not. If you still have to go hit that switch in order to drop that ladder and also freeze flame those um, little fire things, then you would not be able to do this. So that's why I did all that first. And with that, we get the Kokiri Emerald! Yes! <laughs> Can't wait to get the uh, Zora's Sapphire as well as the... Goron's Ruby. That is what they're called, right? I never really remember though. Do I? I'm gonna die, aren't I? I really don't want to. Oh, there we go. There's some health sisters, I hope. Give me all your rare health sisters. There we go. And we can get hit three more times before we die. Even even if we do die, it won't really matter all that much since we have like ten buffooned dads. So in reality, we actually have... Oh, well, we have ten buffooned dads, so... If you... And we have ten... Or we always have four hearts, so that means... We have 40 hearts, technically. Oh, that's an area we have yet to see! Ooh! So, like, how do you get to the second floor? I do not know! I do not know! Well, I climb up these boxes. Let's go in boxing. They have, like, the generally swastika, that kind of thing on it. Um, I would fight you, Mr. Sharpclaw, but uh, I, I am a very pacifistic kind of person, and I hate fighting people. Like, for all we know, the Sharp Claws hate General Scales, and like, they're just finding him to do his bidding because he makes them, right? We don't want to hurt him, we don't know his story. Maybe this, he just does this to feed his ch starving children. I mean, he's enlisting the army, that doesn't mean he necessarily supports General Scales, right? And we get the Goron's Ruby thing, yeah. So, if you were reading that text, it said it's... Oh, glad we did that on time, and... Oh no! Ow! My everything hurts. My everything hurts. Okay. I believe I want to swim this way. Uh, I hate whatever these weird turtle things are called. What is that? Ugh! What is that? It's like a boner sticking out. It's like, ugh! Disgusting, man! <laughs> okay, so we did that. Oh, yeah. I guess you could easily tell. So it was like, oh, you can't press here. You already did this one, you dummy. Duh, dummy. See that gate open. Ooh! Can't wait to use that one! Ah, uh, crap, I was not paying attention to where that- Oh, okay, it's over there. Ah, don't- No! Okay, I get hit one more time before I die. Alright. There's a boost pad, and you go, Wee! If you try to use the boost pad when that gate was closed, literally, you just go straight up, and you come right back down. And... Oh, no, there we go. The Zora's Sapphire. Ah, of course. Oh, that's more of a white. Oh, no, it's kind of blue. Yay! More Legend of Zelda references. <laughs> Maybe not. They're not really. Cause I mean, they're they're all the same kind of crystal. Um, wait, was there? Okay, there it is. I knew there's a healing box somewhere. Really? Really? Thank you. Jeez. It's like, oh, we got three crystals. What do we do with those? <laughs> Cause honestly, you would be like, what the hell do we do with these? What was the point of getting those? Well, worry no more, young one, Shavar. I shall show you. It's actually another door this way we have yet to go through. In the southwest corner of the room. See, look at that. It's using my map to my advantage. You come over here and it's like, Oh my god, Harry Potter the lightning bolt. Place it in there. It's like, hey, my goat. And it opens this place. It's a very gaseous place. Who even understands why? And we could put these crystals in there. They were never that big to begin with, and I do got a, I do got a comment on how actually cool that looks. And we need to hurry before Fox dies or starts taking hits. Is is okay. Uh 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 uh. There we go. I think that was good enough, right? <laughs> It'd be funny if I die in the cutscene. There we go. And magic happens, and I forgot this guy was even a thing. 
Oh, no. So that... <laughs> oh, out of place sound effects for the win. He's not, he has, his arms aren't crossed anymore, so you can see he's stopped being an angsty teenager, and he is now... He's grown up. I don't think anything's down there. Or maybe... It was the room we were... No, okay. I was gonna say, maybe that's the room where the... The dinosaur guy we just saw float up, but I don't think so. Ah, uh, holla doubt it! Alright, so now the vents are working! Hooray! What does this mean exactly? And if you're wondering, by the way... Um, once I get through here... This is the room where we first entered. Remember, this is the first one we crawled up. Yeah, and the for front of the fortress is right over there where we did the Superman 64 stuff. And then at this point, this is where it put us in the cutscene and general skills. Like, where is the fox? I need to confront him because I am a dinosaur and he is a fox and we are going to be best friends. And I don't understand why I gave him that accent. However, someone will understand someday. Someday. So these switches actually change the current of the vent, the direction of the vent. So yeah, you're gonna want them up clearly. And there's a sharp close through that closed gate that we can do nothing about. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. And there's a baby bird over here. Interesting. Um. Hello, baby bird. You want anything? You want a cookie or something? Can I help you? Can I press A? No, he flies right through. He doesn't even acknowledge you. Cause that baby bird don't give a fudge. You're the baby pterodactyl. It's not a bird. <laughs> um. Uh, there we go. Okay. I have changed my mind. I've gone back on my days of being a pacifist, and I am gonna kill you. I don't care that you have starving children and a wife you need to support. You will face my staff. My staff. But you won't. You, you, I'll, I'll let you live. Okay? That is my good deed of the day. So you actually want to come over here. And there's my sharp claws. Oh my god. Kill all of the sharp claws. Kill all of the sharp claws. And there we go. Um, yeah, you smack me with your mace. I hate people who mace me. Yeah, I don't know. I see more of them bear mace, but uh, this guy wasn't. How dare he. Kill you a style! No, oh, he didn't die at all. Well then, he didn't die with style at all. No, now the gates are closed. And we're trapped in here forever, this is the end of the game! No! Um, I guess that's the end of the series, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See, there's nothing even above us we could do. Oh, that's cool. I guess that's where we went up before where I said the area was pointless. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to call it up there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and I guess this is the end of the series, because we are clearly trapped in this room forever. Oh, no. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace!